Hello, so we are now going through C and D of question nine, and this is from exercise 10D. So we previously went through A and B, it took us a, quite a bit of time, but we still have some of the knowledge that we have, and you can see I've already written it down, what the information we can use from A and B for this one. But let's read the question and see how we go with it. So we have a four digit number with no repetitions is to be formed from the set of digits zero to seven. And we need to find the probability that the number is, and for C, what we need to do is find the probability that it is less than 4,000. And that's what I've written here. We're trying to find the probability that we have a number less than 4,000. Now to do this, what we're going to do is say we have a restricted, the restricted being all the different ways we can create a four digit number that is less than 4,000. And then we have the unrestricted, which is what we found in A and B, which is simply all the different four digit numbers I can make from zero to seven. And we know that's one, four, seven, zero. I'm not going to rehearse how we know that, but we simply know that from our previous working, refer to those that previous video if you wanna find out how we got it. But I'm assuming that if you've watched, if you're watching this video, you watched A and B. All right, so we know 1470, so we just need to find out what the restricted is. So this question is almost nearly done for us. It's going to take us no time at all to answer it. So to find my restricted value, I'm going to put four spaces right here. And what we need to do is find out the different options I have for each one. So for my first position right here, if I know that my number has to be less than 4,000, well, what's it going to be? What options do I have for putting here? Well. Yeah, I can't put a seven there because if I was to put a seven here, my number is going to be 7,000 and that's bigger than 4,000. So too with six and five. So too with four. If I was to put a four here, that means any number I'm going to get is going to be greater than 4,000. So that leaves me with three and two and one. I can't put a zero there for if I was to put zero there, it would cease to be a four digit number. It would be a three digit number. So that means I have three options for that one. I then move on to the next one this one right here, and I ask myself, how many options do I have for this? And I realize when I come up here that, well, I've already used either one, two, or three, and so that means I've already used one number, and this could be any number. There's really no restrictions for the second one. It could be anything. So knowing that there are a total of eight digits here, I can just subtract one because I've used it here, which means I'm going to be left with seven. And then the same logic is going to follow for the remaining ones. It's just going to be six and then five. So I'm going to multiply all of those together to get my final answer. So my final answer is going to be, I'm going to grab my three times seven times six times five, 630, 630. And that is my restricted. And as you know, we need to highlight it in blue. And then I come up here and I'm going to write 630. Highlight it in blue, of course and go 630 divided by 1470, which is going to be three on seven, three on seven, and that is your answer. Hopefully you're able to get that. That one is not too hard. Let's continue. I'm going to have to put a dot down here so I can scroll a bit further because one note is funny like that. Okay. Now, as you see, I've, we're starting from scratch with this one, and the reason why we have to start from scratch is because what it's asking of of us is a little different. What it's saying is we're trying to find the probability that the number is less than 4,000 given, oh no, given, I'm going to highlight that in pink, given that it's greater than 3,000. Now, what does this given tell us? This given tells us that what we're trying to find here is conditional probability. So that means where we used to write this, we used to write restricted over unrestricted, you know, life was simple, things made sense, but now things get real. So we come here, I'm going to write the probability. Now it's less than 4,000, so it's going to be less than 4,000, given it's greater than 3,000, so X is going to be greater than 3,000. So that means, again, instead of having our restricted over unrestricted, what we're going to have instead is, I might have to move this over, move this a bit. It's going to be the probability 
Now it's going to be the intersection of these things. So that means it's going to be 3000 is less than X is less than 4000. Now, hopefully you've seen that notation before. Actually, I know you've seen this notation before is between, so it, what it's saying here is greater than 3000, but less than 4000. I then I'm going to divide. And what I'm going to divide by is the probability. And because it's conditional probability, I know it's just going to be that one. So it's going to be greater than 3000. And then again, let me clean up my workspace, which is always important. Always make sure that your workspace is neat and tidy. And make sure you leave enough room for the final answer there. For my final answer, that's going to have to move a bit over there. Let's just move this whole thing a bit over there. Good. You're probably thinking, Mr. S, why are you doing this? Just answer the question. I haven't got all the time in the world. And I agree, but these things must be done. Equals. All right, let's now answer this. So I'm going to highlight, this is going to be green and this is going to be a blue. So the first thing I need to do is solve for this one. Control C, come down here, Control V, bring that down there. I'm trying to find that. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I have four spaces I need to fill. I have four spaces I need to fill. And I know that this number that I'm creating has to be greater than 3000. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what can my first number be. I grab my pen and I'm going to say, all right, if it's greater than 3000, it obviously can't start with zero, one, two, or it could start with three, couldn't it? It could start with three, it could start with four or five or six or seven, which means I have one, two, three, four, five numbers. It could be perfect. Next, what can my second one be? Well, if it's greater than 3000, if it's greater than 3000, and I know that the first number is either going to be three, four, five, six, or seven, it can be any other number. There are really no restrictions anymore. It could even be zero, and it's still going to be greater than 3000. So that means it's going to be seven options. Seven because I have eight digits here, I minus one, I get seven. Then I come here and I wanna figure out this one. This one's going to be six. And then I need to figure out the last one. The last one is going to be five. Then I multiply, I multiply all of these together to get my final answer. I get my calculator out. I go five times seven times six times five, which is going to be one zero five zero. One, zero, five, zero. That right there is going to be my green number. So I come up here and I write one, zero, five, zero, like that. And I just realized I'm gonna run out of room, aren't I? But we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Now we come to this one over here. So now we need to find out, now I call this restricted, but it probably really shouldn't be called restricted. So let me actually change this. Let me, just call it this, the probability that 3000, it is restricted, don't get me wrong, but let's just use that notation because that's what we're doing. So again, come here, come here. I have one, two, three, four positions that I'm trying to fill. What can my first one be? What can my first one be? Well, I know that it's between 3,000 and 4,000. I know it's between 3,000 and 4,000. So what can my first number be? Let me just zoom out a little bit so I've got a bit more room to work with. Well, if I know it has to be between, between 3,000 and 4,000, that means this number right here has to be three. It just has to be three. If it's going to be four, it's going to be greater than 4,000. If it's going to be two, it's going to be less than 3,000. It has to be three. So that means this number, I only have one option. It has to be that three right there. But then for the rest of them, for the rest of them, there really are no restrictions that I have to abide by. There are no restrictions that I have to abide by. They could be anything they want. So this is going to be seven, six, and five. And remember, the reason why it's seven, six, and five is because I've already used the one right before it. So it's just going to be one less. So now to find that, I'm going to grab my calculator yet again, and that is going to be 210. I'm going to write that in black, 210. Then I get 
my blue, 210, I come over here, I write 210, I get my blue, I do that. Now I'm going to have to simplify this, so I'm going to have to uh, do some rearranging here. Let me grab this, let me move this over. Then, let me finish that off. Then you're going to put that into your calculator, 210 over 1050, 1 over 5, okay. This is what I was afraid of, 1 over 5. Let me know what your back of the book says, because my back of the book, for whatever reason, under 9D, unless I'm looking at the wrong place, it says 1 over 6. But I'm positive of my working out here, and another reason why I'm positive of my working out is because I checked it against the work solutions, and as you can see, the work solution says 1 over 5 as well, and it's 9D. This is where the textbook can make you second guess yourself. I think it's 1 over 5. I never like to say that there's a mistake in the textbook, but the fact that the work solutions have something different as well. Let me know what you think. They must be wrong. The textbook must be wrong. My working makes sense. They've gone about it in a similar way, 210 over 105. Unless I'm looking at it wrong, but no, no, I'm positive. That is the correct answer, one over five. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. That is all of question nine done and dusted. Question nine was an absolute monster of a question. Hopefully this helped. I'll see you later.